Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mr. Felstrom's Pre-Calc Cast. Uh, this episode is looking at Benchmark 9.1 Standard Trigonometric Values, computing the exact uh, value of the following trigonometric function without the use of a calculator. So what I have set up over here are our, our special triangles with our ratio and a very simplified uh, uh, coordinate system unit circle uh, with ASTC, the All Student State Calculus. This tells me which functions are positive in which quadrants. Uh, our first uh, um, uh, trig function is the tangent of 3 pi over 4. Uh, the first thing we want to do is find our reference angle, which is the pi over 4, and that is a 45 degree uh, angle. So that's a special triangle 45. The tangent is the opposite over uh, adjacent, which is x over x, and that simplifies to 1. Uh, so the tangent of pi over 4 is 1, but I need 3 pi over 4, so I need to determine which quadrant that's in. So pi over 4 is in the first quadrant, and then the next uh, pi over 4 that cannot be simplified is, is the next quadrant. So. Uh, pi over 4 here, 2 pi over 4 simplifies, 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 2, and uh, so here's 3 pi over 4, quadrant 2, and my uh, all students take calculus says that sine is the only one that's positive, so the tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. Next problem cosecant 7 pi over 6. Uh, cosecant is 1 over sine of 7 pi over 6. So again, find that reference angle, which is a pi over 6. And that is a 30 degree uh, angle in degrees. So I'm going to go to my 30, 60, 90, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be x uh, it's going to be x over 2x, which simplifies to 1 half. Uh, however, that is sine, and I want uh, the cosecant. So I am going to do the reciprocal, 2. And uh, now I just need to determine positive or negative. 7 pi over 6 is going to be in quadrant 3. And I know that's in quadrant 3 because uh, I can count my non-simplified uh, pi over 6, so pi over 6, and then 2 pi over 6 can be simplified, and all up to 5 pi over 6 is in quadrant 2, 6 pi over 6 is pi, and then 7 pi over 6. But a uh, faster way is to kind of just sort of approximate 7 over 6, that's just past 1 pi. So it's going to be right over here, 7 pi over 6, and it shows me that tangent's positive, everything else is negative. So my answer is negative 2. The cosine of 4 pi over 3, all right, reference angle, pi over 3, and that is a 60 degree, and I'm looking at cosine, which is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So go to my 60 degree, adjacent is x, and hypotenuse is 2x, simplifies 2, one half, and then I need to find out which quadrant four pi over three is, and since that's four over three is just past one, I'm going to be in quadrant three. Since uh, tangent is again positive in quadrant three, everything else is negative. My cosine is negative one half. And finally, sine of pi over two. Uh, pi over two is a is a uh, quad uh, angle right in between the two quadrants. Um, that coordinate right there, and that's where pi over two is, and that's the opposite over the adjacent. Well, we don't have it's a ninety degrees. We don't really have an opposite or adjacent, so I'm going to revert back to the coordinate zero one. And the sine value is, uh, not only is it opposite over hypotenuse, but it's also defined on a unit circle as y. And for this coordinate, the sine of, uh, of pi over 2, uh, the coordinate is 1. 
So the sine of pi over 2 is 1. And there we have uh, exact values without using a calculator. And we could use our calculators to check, and I'll let you do that on your own time. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.